sound is too loud hold on okay I know TikTok can hear me fine Game all right can y'all hear me better now twitch can y'all hear me better now oh why did I run what the f okay cool damn it you good now hey Aretha Tickler what did do Wh wait wait a minute what's your name excuse me sir your name is Aretha who Urethra tickler? Fam! <laughs> oh! Oh my god, does everybody see this man's name? Urethra tickler, dear Christ. Just when I thought I heard it all. Uh, can I ask you a question? How did you come up with that name there, buddy? Opinion on anime t What is- Why are y'all so horny tonight? PJ Bird 2. A urethra tickler? That was the name of the Hey, I appreciate it, the old tech guy. Uh, opinion on anime titties. Bro, get some real titties. I don't even think I can say that on TikTok, damn it. Oh, uh, no, nah, that name is off the chain. Don't encourage this behavior. His name Everybody on TikTok, please follow me on Twitch. Join the Discord. Time Master, what it do? So do you end up picking between your father and the Hellcat? Um, tough decision. I went with a In-N-Out sandwich. Um, I decided that neither of which... Hey, bro, it's just my name. Don't know why you're doing all this. Urethra Tickler. I'm... Hey, Light, thanks for the follow. Right, bro, do y'all see this man's name is Urethra Tickler? Like, that is... You, you probably got name of the year right there. Chris Dolman. Bro, I'm tripping right now. I'm all like, nah, I'm not reading that right. I, I'm thinking it's just a normal night. Hey, man, I love you too. Yo, Papa Sam. Hey, man, this man Papa Sam was up in here on complete sus mode. Why audio weird? Why the audio weird? Probably because uh, my laptop was cutting up. Hey, Ed the old tech guy. Name of the year. Hey, Ed the old tech guy with the roses. Okay, so um, somebody wanted me to talk about like, okay, who here is like was born in the '90s or remembers '90 uh, anime anime in the '90s? I can use I can use my name. It gets banned. There it is. Plastic fork. Hey, I love it. You guys have such intrinsic names. Like these, these names are just wow. Plastic for Urethra Tickler might be the one that that's probably the most creative one I've heard so far. I mean, I've heard some stuff back in my day, but uh, Urethra Tickler, that one, uh, that one's for the ages, there, buddy. <laughs> you you got a friend in me. Spaghetti or meat? Pause. I watched them, but I'm 2000s. I like 90s anime. Remember Ninja Scroll? I never heard of Ninja Scroll. Sailor Moon is trash. Let's just, you know, get that out. I just want everybody to know Sailor Moon's trash. Hey, Sensei, thanks for the follow. Yu Yu, of course, is the GOAT. I mean, that's just, that's not even something that we need to waste too much time on. So here's the thing. Somebody was asking me, like, do you think bingeable entertainment is better or worse than back in the day, like, you know, episodes coming out every week? So... I think how's the stream been going, man? Life forty seven hundred. I've been I've been going. This is my second week being consistent. Hey, Sensei, what's good? Everybody on TikTok, follow me on Twitch. Yu Yu Hakusho's the goat. Shin Chan, hey, Crayon Shin Chan was hilarious. 
Press one in the chat if you remember Crayon Shinchan. That used to be my guy. If I could, my username would be Conquifador. God damn it, Johnny. Hey, thanks for the sub. Hey, Papa Saiyan's on a sub parade. Okay, so here's the thing. I think when stuff dropped once a week, it gave people more time to process and satiate stuff. Like, um, when you consume something too fast, I don't think people... People don't really grasp a lot of the concepts too well, and like stuff that should have sunk in over that week, float over your head. Like, um, and like, don't get me wrong, there's some stuff that's like, all right, cool. If it's like a 26 episode anime, all right, cool. And it's just one season, I think you could binge watch that. But there's something about like everybody having to wait that week and really diving in, rereading the story that really brings the, uh, brings the anime to life and plus i feel like because of binge culture like mangakas don't even have time to really put their heart and soul or oh no because they're under they're under hell on earth all the time hey juan thanks for the follow Roroni kenshin is that shit dimitri blagan Roroni kenshin is my shit i love Roroni kenshin what are you talking about that's my guy binging is the worst man i feel like i have nothing to watch anymore i'm just watching I'm waiting yeah that's the thing with binging like um, I just feel like it kills the whole, like, how do I phrase it? It's just not good. It's not good. There's There was a different hype level and a different hit from, like, stuff when I had to wait for it. You feel me? Like, binging episodes is cool and all, but it, I don't know. I feel like I'm, mm, I, I personally just think it was better to uh, get it. Uh, hey, Plastic Fork, thank you for 600 likes. You are a goat. You are the man, sir. Ben shows negative, the people only talk about a show. And that's the thing, people consume shows too fast. That's all I like, bro. You don't even get to appreciate the art. Like when stuff comes out once a week, you get to appreciate it. You might rewatch it and find some stuff that you didn't catch before. Like now everybody's attention span is so short. All we care about is animation and you know, is your fight scene a million dollar budget? I don't care about your plot. I don't care if your main character is a ripoff of another guy, Black Clover. Oh, Black Clover uh is is Black Clover anyways haven't had time to binge anything for the past three months that might be for the best you can change charmander's name bro you don't need to keep it it was p oh, i didn't know i could do that that's why i like the seasonal anime like yeah jujutsu kaisen and attack on titan because they come out once a week in their seasons notice how the reception is way different exactly it makes the episodes way more impactful like dragon ball z bro i i, I guarantee you Y'all don't understand how hype it was on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. You were waiting that whole that whole week like, bro, this next episode is going to be crazy. I don't know what he's going to do. Like, it was crazy, bro. You get a way different feel. I feel like the show for sure hits harder. I got to put my head somewhere that's not in the way. But yeah, the show definitely hits harder when you got to wait a week. Are you up to date? Okay, Dimitri Blagan, I hate to I hate to spoil your bubble. I am the chief not liker of One Piece. Let me just say that like that. Bro, JJK is my favorite new gen, bro. DBZ had people itching for the next episode. That's what I'm saying. Like, you have a different hype when it comes out. There it is. When something comes out week to week, that's when you know it's good. That's when you know it's good. When something's binge watchable, you might be riding the high from episode three, and that's what gets you through the next 10, 12 episodes. But when you, hey, uh, hashtag, uh, thanks for the love. When you gotta wait a week, that's when you really know if something's good. Like, do I care enough to wait another week for this to come out? Or. Is it really not all that? Like, you can give an honest judgment if you got a week to wait between episodes. A lot of these anime would not survive a week-to-week -week episode uh, block. That's why they keep coming out, you know, with these, oh, binge watch, binge watch central stuff. That's exactly what it is. Because I'm all like, bro, you're not really holding anybody's attention span if you drop 70 billion episodes in one week. Like, at that point, I'm just watching all of this because they're here. Can we talk about the need to beg your parents to record? Bro, y'all don't know about the VCR recording. Getting beat up because you recorded over some home movies? DBZ turned us into addicts. Facts. Cinnabon Toast, thanks for the follow. Plus, when it's seasonal, you don't get hit with a crazy amount of filler. Exactly. And that's the thing. I was all like, this whole filler thing, I feel like fillers like creeped up into nonsensical realm. Like, fillers weren't, like, Dragon Ball Z only has, like, one or two the first filler in dragon ball z i think is snake way but even that one it was so good you thought it was canon the next one when they get their driver's license legit then the next one after that was so good we all thought pycon 
was fucking canon. Like, that's how good fillers can be when we're not rushing stuff. And that's the thing. That's why, like, when people talk mess about Naruto, I'm all like, bro, Naruto can be... Hey, man, thanks, X the guy. Naruto was good enough to be released on a weekly uh, schedule. That's why I said Naruto's the GOAT. Like, it's a good show. Like, you can wait for an episode of Naruto every week and be like, yo, I can do this. A lot of these new gens can't sustain it. Yeah, Naruto's filler arc after the pain thing was actually a crime against humanity. Like, I was ready to fight the studio. That didn't make no sense. That was just dumb as hell. But yeah, nah, for sure, for sure, it's uh, binge culture has ruined a lot of it because people aren't even watching shows to watch shows anymore. That's why anytime you get into a debate with people on TikTok, you ask them, okay, why is the show good or why is the show bad? It, because it is. Look at this fight scene. Fam, a fight scene is great and all, but what is the plot of this show? Did this man just Super Saiyan explode on me? Good Lord. It's like, what is the plot of the show? What's going on with the characters? What are the motifs? What did I learn about this person? They can't answer this. When you try to, and you know how bad a show is based on the fan base. If the fan base doesn't know how to correctly argue the show, the show is really not good. Oh shit, you're back. Yeah. What's up, Buck Buck J? Uh, Greg Beast. Honestly, I think that was them just trying to milk Naruto as much as they could. Yeah, I don't even, honestly, that, that was criminal acts right there. But yeah, bro, like a lot of y'all shows, outside of just animation budgets on 20 million, they're not that good. The only thing you're saying, like most of people's arguments for shows now is look at the animation. This is the best fight of 2022. Like that's it, nothing else. Oh, the writing is so good. Tell me about it. It's just good, bro. Okay, what is what is good about it besides the fights? It's good, bro. Like, oh my God, why are we even arguing? It's that's the it's the whole I'm right because I say so and it's good because I said it's good. There's nothing else to substantiate their claim. But when the show is good, you notice like okay, see that's why I think like on TikTok everybody is obsessed with arguing the big three or just like uh the top three shown in at the time because it's just easy to pretend like you know something. Yeah, it's good, man. It sold the most, it has the highest views, and uh yeah, it's it's a really good show. What's good about it? Um, they just really do a good job with the characters. Okay, what what is good about the characters? You know, like the the main character, he's really good, and the and the side characters, are, the side characters are fleshed out. People's main thing is the side characters are fleshed out. I'm like, all right, bitch, what does that mean, bro? Like, what character is fleshed out? And like, give me an example. Are you even watching the show? That's the argument. Demon Slayer, bro, like the writing is... Oh, whoa, 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 Urethra Tickler. Slow down, buddy. Demon Slayer is, is peak fiction. Let's watch, Let's slow our rolls, buddy. Yeah, exactly. Mad at you. One Piece has too much terrible stuff. Like, that's the thing. People keep talking like, oh, One Piece is... This. One Piece didn't survive the week-to-week -week drop. When it got dropped on four, uh, Fox Kids, the box or whatever for you kids, it did not do well. Like... Exactly. That's all they say about Luke. Exactly. High school D and D is on top. I heard that show just is very, very pervy. You trust the opinion of a man named Urethra Tickler? Cowboy Bebop. Look, I really don't care for Cowboy Bebop. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I'm not gonna slander it, but I just, I, I don't care for Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, people don't appreciate story anymore. It's just like, okay, One Punch Man. The way people defend One Punch Man is atrocious. Bro, look at the animation. What about the story? It's so good. Okay, what's the plot right now? Bro, it's good. I'm like, okay, you can't repeat the definition as the definition. Like, I need you to say something. Now, I'm like happy to agree to it, but I just don't find Demon Strait. Here's the thing. So, Ghost in the Shell was a great plot. Okay. 90s anime was way better. Who has the best Jalaf? Even though Nigeria just, like, destroyed, just disrespected all its citizens with the loss today, Nigerian Jalaf is the best. So, here's the thing. So, Demon Slayer has a great plot because it's simply done but well. Like, <clears throat> they really mess with the mind of the audience by making you feel a lot of compassion for the demons, even though they also start the show off by making you hate the demons so much. They make you, like, question your morals. That's why I think the show is so good. It does a real good point of saying, like, who's the real demon? Like, are the demons victims or were they born this way? And then you find out that they weren't born this way. And they're just, you know, casualties of war like anybody else and wanted to survive. So it's kind of all like, who's right and who's wrong here? Like, that's why the show is good, because it's layered with some complex motifs that you have to, you know, really pause to think about. Like, it's not just a hack and slash 
Think about Bobber. Bleaches in Big Three. Oh, when people say bleaches in Big Big Three, just know you're de you're dealing with somebody who chews bricks for fun. Hey, Nassad, thank you, bro. Hey, Big O was valid. I go by Trey. Big O was valid. One Punch Man has to be seen as satire. Here's the cold part. People really argue One Punch Man like it's not satire. I'm all like, fam. Oh, One Punch Man could be Goku. Look at his feet. I'm like, the whole show is a joke, bro. Like, I'm not finna say SpongeBob is going to beat any anime character. Like, stop it. Uh, well, technically, the hair slinging and the blast slinging. Now, Big O was tight. He was anime Batman. I love Big O. That Big O. Pause. One Punch Man is Big Man. And here's the thing. Outside of One Punch Man, the story is just okay. Like, it's kind of funny. It's cool. It's just okay. It's not anything to write home about. OPM has a story. I didn't say it. Oh, hold on. Jibble's evolving. Hold on. Wait a minute. I didn't say One Punch Man doesn't have a story. I just said it's okay. If you take out... Yeah, Season 2 was trash. Why? And, and look at that. Kyle Ogg. Why was Season 2 a One Punch Man trash? Because the animation sucked. You take away the... Hey. Come on, come on. I don't even know what Gibble turns into after this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on. Goodbye. Come on, Garchomp. Luffy and fanbase think everything was foreshadowed and it's very... That's the thing, like... And here's the thing I tell people. One Piece is only has this many people because... At this point, if you've been watching a show for 20 years, you have to see it through to the end. That's it. You're not watching it because anything crazy, you're too far invested. That, let's just be honest. Um, Hunter x Hunter should be in the big three, bro. Listen, man, I love Tagashi's work. Look, Hunter x Hunter is just like Yu Yu Hakusho. It's one of those things like you have to have a very sophisticated palette to enjoy. Because not enough people really like Yu Yu Hakusho. Guy Sensei versus Nagato. Um, if Guy goes eight gates, sure, but... And here's the problem I don't like about death battles. Like, nobody starts a fight with their trump card, bro. Like, nobody gets into a fight saying, I'm going to unalive myself to win the fight. They're trying to win the fight without unaliving themselves. And usually the trump card is on some, I had to do this or I was going to unalive. Like, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not going into every fight ready to commit unalivement. Like, I hate when people use that kind of logic. Um, true. I mean, I can say what you're getting at with Demon Slayer. I just think shows like Hunter x Hunter have done it better in, in your opinion. And see, the thing is, I respect your opinion on that because you brought up a comparison of Hunter x Hunter. Like, you use the good anime to compare with another anime. Uh, One Punch Man is mid. No, One Punch Man, I'm telling you, bro, like, the animation proves that the show was literally riding off of a budget. I promise you, One Punch Man, if they would have started off season one with the budget they had for season two, the show would have got canceled. Nobody's watching that. Like, Garo is cool, but Garo needed season one's budget. If Garo would have had season one's budget, I would have never heard the end of One Punch Man. I never really liked Lupin the Third. I feel like I'm one of the only people who like Lupin the Third. Yeah, you, you just might be. Uh, okay, bro, you have to talk about Digimon. I was heavy on the Digimon, too. You know what's crazy? I feel like Digimon would have done better if they would have had somebody cuter than Pikachu as the mascot. Actually, if they would have had somebody... Okay, Psyduck, you gonna get me or what? If they would have had somebody as cute as Pikachu and they would have came out before Digimon, I mean, before Pokemon, then Digimon would have won. Because Digimon, for sure, for sure, is a, is, a, is a better written show. Like, the characters were cooler. Like, it was a serious, more serious tone. The action was better. But I just feel like Pokemon had the... You know, they already had everybody in a chokehold. Like... You, you were already playing Pokemon Yellow by the time Digimon dropped. We already loved Pikachu, Charizard, and everything else, so it was kind of like, eh. And, and yeah, Disney, Digimon, that first cast, fire. Hold on. How nobody watching One Punch Man, but y'all stay comparing? They're only watching season one, and you're talking about 14-year-old children. That is not a good argument. So Adult Swim and Toonami gave us so many different palettes of anime. Should they start that again? The problem is people don't have the patience or the brain capacity to understand different animes. Like, right now, children only want to watch crazy fight scenes and they don't care about the story. And here's the cold part. Even if something's co a, a complete ripoff, Black Clover, of something else that just finished, Black Clover and Naruto, people are going to go with the newer one and say, but look at the animation. I'm all like, bro, you're trying to say, like, oh... 
this is so much better because it came out now. Well, duh, we have iPhones, we have Wi-Fi. You comparing the first telephone to an iPhone, which one's better? Duh. Bro, did you see Tsunami coming back? Of course. Why did Ash have so many ops at the age of 10? Ash was, he was trying to get put on the set. Back against the wall, give it y'all. Now, real question. My favorite EV evolution is Jolteon. Some Digimons are just monsters with guns wielded to it. That is very true. Yeah, Pokemon puts a lot more thought into their stuff. This is a Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Black Clover is, is very okay. Like I said, Black Clover, if it would have came out seven more years from now, then I could have been all like, okay, they're clearly borrowing everything from Naruto. Hey, let's go, Charmy. Like, bro. Yeah, because Black Clover is clearly taking everything from Naruto. What is it? Main character, Demon Boy, works out a lot. Can't do nothing. Now he has a demon. There we go. His partner is always good at stuff. Oh, what's his name? Sasuke. Except this time he doesn't have the awful clan massacre, but he's still an orphan. whoop de doo But how is it a ripoff? I'm, I'm, and that's the thing I hate when y'all say. I say, and here's the thing. You can still like the show and be critical of it. Like, I don't understand this thing. Have it started about to, is it worth it? Black Clover is okay. Like, I mean, shit. You, you watch it. Like, it's bearable. Once again, but that's the thing. It's all like, I just explained it. Thank you. I just explained it, and you guys say how. Like, what is, what is, what do you not let? Y'all don't listen. You'll ask somebody to explain something, but you're not used to people explaining something, and then you'll go, how? And here's the thing. It's okay to like a show and understand it has flaws. I am a Naruto stan. I could write a 700-page essay on what is wrong with Naruto. That doesn't mean I like it any less. I'm the same way with Dragon Ball Z. It's okay to judge things that you like. It's okay. It actually makes you like it better. That's literally Naruto all over. That's what I'm saying. Black Clover is just Naruto all over again. Yami is literally Buffer Kakashi. Like, what are we doing? Julius Novacrono, as great of a character as he is, the man is literally the fourth Hokage. That That's it's exactly who he is. Hiraishin no Jutsu, teleportation, the yellow flash. Now this man is light speed moving with time. Come on, guys. A time space ninjutsu to literal time. Come on, guys. It's the same guy. Let's stop the cap. Bakugan was all right. I didn't really care for it. The fourth grade Ninja War arc would have been better without all the fill. Stop judging a show based on filler. Oh, my God. We have to stop this. Have you? You you got a do got a point with Yami. Have you watched the case study of Vanny? No, I haven't seen it. Y Yami is just buff Kakashi. Where's the, what's the difference? Like... Okay, Blacker the Berry, I see you just woke up to hate. That's okay. God don't like haters. He's just buff Yami. Um, what's the silver hair girl? She is actually, I'll give her to her. She has like that annoyance of Sakura, but they actually give her more of a personality. Like, if anybody pays attention, Sakura has no backstory. Sakura was just born. Her parents are, I guess, alive. I don't even know if they're doctors, lawyers, gardeners. She just exists. Noel, there we go. Noelle is Sakura with a backstory. Like, it would have made... Sakura would have had... If they would have given Sakura the same thought they gave Noelle, Sakura would be much more of a well-rounded character. But Sakura is literally just there because they're like, well, he, he drew me. I guess I'm here. And that's the thing. I understand if Naruto's good, but you're not attached to Naruto. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, she's literally... How are you doing, broski? What's up, Death, uh, Death Wish and Ningning? Attack on Titan, of course, is, is amazing. It's not my... I wouldn't say Attack on Titan's in my top three, but I respect it if it's in anybody's top three. But, um, Noelle is that. Um, the girl who makes the lambs, like, who likes to eat the food all over the place, she is literally Hinata. She does... I don't think she has a crush on Asta. That's about it. They're pulling from all these people's personalities. Like, eh, that's all it is. I've been liking these shorter 24 or even 12 episode animes a lot. Those are usually better because they're not trying to... Capitalism hasn't ruined their mind. They're not sitting there trying to... Yeah, charm me. They're not, a, they're not sitting there trying to uh, milk you for a million years. You feel me? They're like, let's just get to the point in the anime and have a cohesive storyline. I've been liking Black, but he is. I like DBZ and One Punch. Sakura had the one cool fight against Sasori, but the momentum just... That's because she doesn't have any... Like, what do we know about Sakura other than she was born? Like, really think about it. Sakura's alive. That's it. Kaguya introduction wasn't needed. Honestly, the so the problem the problem with Kaguya is I, absolutely it was terrible. It was terrible. But 
the uh, the thing was, I think the writers said they literally did not know how to stop Madara. They made Madara too powerful, and they were literally stuck. That's one of the cool things about chapters coming out weekly. What's, hey, Diamond K, thanks for the follow. When chapters come out weekly, you have a chance to see what the writers are thinking, the interviews line up. You have way more information going into the next episode. But we digest anime 100 episodes in two days, and we don't have time to sift through the de details and anything else. Uh, I remember when Naruto reversed harem jutsu. That was hilarious. They should have let Naruto win with the reverse harem jutsu. That would have been way more epic. Also, if you're on TikTok, follow me on Twitch. Link in the bio. Um, I can't. She's important. I don't understand what you mean. What about when Sakura said she caught up to Naruto and Sasuke? That was hilarious. Of course, One Piece is mink milking it. My hero is dope. They just kind of lost me with where they're at right now. Because Deku... See, My Hero is already Japanese X-Men. But they lost me when they turned Deku into Spider-Man and Naruto at the same time. It's all like, bro, now you guys are losing the originality. And right now he's Batman, too. I'm like, okay. Uh, Ranking of Kings is, like, peak fiction. One Piece is for sure milking it, bro. Like, One Piece is literally milking the, the, the dog shit out of that show. There's no reason One Piece should still be going. Like, he's literally just... He's on that Simpsons shit where he should have ended the show, but he just does not want to. And y'all are literally trying to say, ah, oh, One Piece is doing something. It's stop the cap, bro. Like, if Dragon Ball Z was this long, I would have I would have found Toriyama and buried him. What? what? What is this still going on for? Ranking of Kings is fire. Fire. And that's the thing. Um, Naruto gives a crap about Boruto. That's just Naruto's Dragon Ball Z facts. No one can convince me is bored. Borto is terrible. I just dropped fa fairy tale is awful. I don't know how you got to uh 200 episodes. Fairy tale is dog water, boy. Oh my god, fairy tale is awful. Luffy went Super Saiyan and everybody's talking about this is the greatest transformation in anime. I'm like, shut up. Y'all sound stupid. Not saying you're wrong. Not saying you're wrong, but it's not like they're ignoring the plot. Here's the thing. Just because they're taking care of the plot doesn't make it okay. Shield Hero, as we found out a couple days, was spot. Shield Hero is probably my favorite new gen right now outside of Demon Slayer. Shield Hero? Rising of a Shield Hero is excellent. If you have not watched it, Rising of a Shield Hero. Won't lie, I enjoy Fairy Tale. It's all... Fairy tale was cool until like episode 67. When Jalal came back for the 87th time, I said, I'm through with you. You gotta go. Natsu, I don't even understand how he wins his fights. Like he ate a rock and was spitting. I was like, man, I'm, you should have been turned into a dragon. Next. Fairy tale is where I stop you. It's a reason why fairy Fairy tale has been in a trash can over a decade. That's it just hasn't been taken out. I mean, sure, I don't really care. Like I said, it's enough. And I'll let you have it, you uh Mr. Tickler. Rising of a drip human facts. Demon Slayer is not just okay. I have not seen the Jujutsu Kaisen movie. I'm probably going to bootleg it soon. I want to start Gintama. Fairy Tale is hot garbage. Thank you. Death Spirit, thanks for the follow. Gintama, I want to start because every clip of Gintama has I've seen has been fire. Also, Gintama clips explained what filler was to me, and I thought that was excellent. Um, What do you mean? Oh, Bleach. Here's the problem with Bleach. Bleach was rushed. Bleach was rushed. They should not have done what they did to Bleach. If Bleach would have ended with the Aizen arc, it would have been a top five anime of all time. All time. Even South Park said they had to stop. Uh, yeah, if Bleach would have ended the way it, when it was supposed to, it would have been a top anime of all time. But that Fullbringer arc was full on bullshit. Who wants this smoke? Fairy Tale is hot garbage. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, but... JoJo's Bizarre Adventures is, is ass, too. The new Bleach final season. No, it's not. I'm trying to tell y'all. Read the chapters, Rome. I can tell some of y'all new anime fans didn't watch anime on YouTube. That's what I'm saying. They weren't there for when you had to watch anime, in, exactly, at 360p in 15 parts. And you were hoping that the person with part 14, his video showed up on the right corner because you had part 12, but 13 was missing. Nah, JoJo's terrible. Let's stop the cap. Uh, JoJo is whack. Facts. Yeah, why does JoJo's... Bro, JoJo's is not good. I watched parts one through four. I was upset. That shit is ass. JoJo's Midzar... Sorry, Bozo's Midzar Adventure. That's what that show is called. 
Also, follow me on Twitch if you're in the chat. Follow me on Twitch if you're on TikTok. Bozo's Midzar Adventure is ass. I haven't seen Noragami. Having to watch an anime on a small screen on YouTube with messed up audio. They don't know about it. Bro, my daughter watched it. Get that show away from your daughter, Mr. Gray. Fairy Tale is on the list of one of the greatest. No, it's not. It's on your list. See, that's another thing. Y'all keep trying to make what's good to you and force it on everybody. Stop it. How do you take that much of an L? Add mix, ass midzos. Naruto is better than One Piece. Facts. And, and that's another thing. I'm nostalgic for Bleach because it was my first, but they really fumbled the left. That's what I'm saying, bro. I loved Bleach. Bleach was so cold. Like, Bleach was amazing. But when they fumbled the thousand, because the thousand year blood war arc literally starts on a mountain. You're just all like, wow. And then they just lose it. D didn't know what they were doing. Um, I tried JoJo's like two years ago and I haven't mentally recovered since. I'm weak. Naruto, hey, LV207. Thanks for the follow. And here's the thing. What's up, Ed, Johnny? Fairy tales, good respect. Hey, it could be good to you, but One Piece is not better than Naruto. Stop the cap. Hey, yeah, if you're in the Twitch chat, it's Streamlabs. I don't have any control over it. I just put it in there so we can stop getting ra ra raided by spammers. Bleach didn't even end well. No, I know Bleach didn't end well. That's what I'm talking about it. Bleach did not end well. The Japanese literally put on the list. How are you going to dish it? Anyways, they put it on what list? Was it an official list? Because I can show you a bunch of lists where Fairy Tale is never mentioned. Uh, try again. I don't really care for sports anime. I might start breaking into them soon. One Piece is not better than Naruto. Here's the thing. One Piece is still going. Naruto stopped. Of course, if you take a poll now, it's going to be One Piece. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, no, y'all have to do all these leaps of logic to fight for One Piece. It never makes sense. I think Naruto has the best power system out of the Shonens. I would say Hunter x Hunter has the best, but Naruto is up there. DBZ needs side character. DBZ wasted all their side character development when Goku was a child. The second Goku turned 20 and had Gohan, side characters were done. Fairy Tale is one of my favorites. No, if you enjoy Fairy Tale, like, hey man, knock yourselves out. I hope you love it. I hope you love it. Even if you enjoy Black Clover, it's okay to enjoy things. It's also okay to enjoy things and be realistic about their downfalls. Darker than Black is a goat. I haven't heard of that. Um, let me say everything I need to say. Clown Tail, what? I enjoy One Piece more, but Naruto was my first anime, and I love it for that. One Piece better than Naruto purely based on writing. Please stop, Wave God. You're lying, and we can all see you lying. One Piece has all... Look, you can build the world, but if, if we get to the world and it's poop, I don't care anymore. Like, the way y'all try to sell me on early one... Oh, my God. And just, just because the only argument y'all have for One Piece is, what episode did you end off on? I ended off on episode 387. One Piece would be a better show if it was a Scooby-Doo mystery satire. If, 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 if One Piece was a Scooby-Doo mystery satire, it'd be much better. Y'all saying, oh, it has better writing. Well, bro, if I had a thousand tries... And I'm watching everything all my predecessors did wrong. I can easily cheat off them and do what I need to do right. That's it. Full Brink Arc was not fire. It should have been lit on fire. Thanks for the follow. I see that Naruto got you under Genjutsu. I'm tired. Get off me. Yeah, anyways, you over here standing fairy tale and can't tell me what's good about it. Can you explain why you recommend Shield Hero? Because it's only show I haven't heard your critique. So... Name me who's relevant in Naruto besides Naruto and the Uchiha. This man gave me the the, the fourth Hokage, the right Hokage, <laughs> the first and second Hokage, the third Hokage, Orochimaru, Jiraiya, Kabuto. What a terrible question. <laughs> Y'all are so bad at arguing. Okay, so here's... Here's the, uh, and that's the thing, y'all are so bad at debating, it's hilarious. Y'all are used to arguing in Reddit forums and then deleting your profiles. My problem with One Piece, one arc is amazing, but the next is horrible. I didn't even get to the amazing art part. He set me up for a slam dunk. What kind of, what kind of dumb question was that? Name me somebody who's popular in there. I'm not 14, bro. I know how to debate. So here's the thing, back to Rising of a, a Shield Hero. I don't care what you say, Kabuto is a problem. Like, let's let's stop the cap. Kabuto is a problem. The personal trainer video is hilarious. Thank you, bro. All people who had no relevance at the end. Now you're just griping at straws. You're mad because your first question sucked. Now you're just lying. 
This man said all people who had no relevance at the end of the story. My man really just said Hashirama had no relevance at the end of the story. Congratulations, you're losing. Here's a lowercase L, but because of that one, it's now capital. So here's the thing with Rising of a Shield Hero. Um, the homie John said it best. Um, Rising of a Shield Hero, the, the hero embraces the fact that since he's being treated wrong, instead of taking the high road like a normal shonen protagonist, he just says, forget it. I'm going to take the low road and embrace the negativity. I love that about him. He's not sitting here trying to be chief moral character Superman. He's just all like, nah, like y'all are grimy. I'm going to be grimy back. It's such a great twist. And the females in the show aren't written terribly so far. I do hate one of them, but so far, like, there's a cool bond. It's not just heavily reliant on he was born Superman and all this stuff. Like, it's just a fresh take on an isekai to me. Rising of a Shield Hero is so good, bro. Like, I implore everybody to watch that. Kabuto been mad quiet since the war arc. Bro, the show is over! Man, it wasn't like Hashirama was a reincarnation and also the first Hokage. Bro, like, that dude, like, that question was so dumb. Levon N, thanks for the follow. Everybody on TikTok, follow me on Twitch and join the Discord, please. Overlord is great. Oh, Overlord is fire, but the pacing is terrible. O Overlord has some of the worst pacing I've seen next to One Piece. So, once again... Somebody asked me, like, how long do you give a show before you can say, like, okay, I'm not watching it anymore? When you pitch a show to a studio, it's called a pilot. Look, Wave God, I guarantee you, if you try to join the Discord arguing like that, you're going to want to quit, okay? So, when you serve up a pilot episode to a studio, that episode has to be good enough to sell it. You don't get to say, watch this episode and a hundred more episodes. That's not how it works. You might get two episodes. For me, if a show doesn't pick up in two episodes max, I'm dropping it. With JoJo's, the only reason I went so far was because I just wanted to get to the fight with JoJo and Dio, and I didn't know that that was in part four. Boy, that shit was ass. JoJo was like, was like microwaved booty hole. Like, somebody cut off ass cheeks from a dead body, put it in the microwave for five minutes, Opened it, turned it over, put it back in for another five, and then served it on a plate. Hot ass cheeks. Okay, Huncho Houdini. No one's gonna argue with you. Attack on Titan is better than Naruto. Like, I'm that that would be a foolish argument. I, I don't even know why somebody would even do that. Oh yeah, Samurai Shampoo is one of the best anime of all time as well. That that shit's just almost perfect, pretty much. I, I Samurai, Samurai Shampoo damn near just might be perfect if you want to put it like that. One Piece females are so bad; it's just a copy and paste. You need to get on the jobless reincarnate. That's coming up next. Thoughts on superhero movies. Are you, I'm low-key kind of burnt. Hold on. Dang, I was joking about JoJo. Yu Yu, 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 Yu Hakusho is so cold because Yu Yu is not a bitch for um, a main character. Like He's not sitting here like, hey, I have to save the world because I'm righteous. He's like, bitch, I want the smoke. The smoke. I can't get into Dr. Stone. I haven't even watched it, to be honest. I have not even watched it, to be honest. Yeah, Ufotable is definitely the best studio out right now. You know how good you gotta be when your movie is so good that you just take the clips and put it on TV? Come on, bro. And it still matches up with your regular TV design? Come on, bro. Bro, how your TikTok ain't delete? I'm weak. I think the shows are such a better format for them. Facts. Bio Legend, thanks for the follow. See, it's hard to rebuttal when we got checked by the mods. I want the smoke. You don't get checked by the mods. You have to just be able to talk without using poop, poop, and poop, poop. Dr. Stone, I'm not going to knock it. I just have not seen it. Like, there's... So, here's another thing. Certain shows don't have any pull on me. Like, I'm not sitting here waiting for a show to come out. Like, certain shows, I'm just like, eh, I guess. Oh, Mob Psycho is amazing. Hey, Bio Legend, thanks for the sub, baby. I was laughing at the wigs, hair lashes, but damn, you making bank off it. Hey, man, look. I don't care what y'all say, the wig game pay better than the drug game, okay? Mappa enslaving, there's facts. Such a biased person. Who's Tyler Emery? For sure, show format, I was burnt out, honestly, after Endgame. So here's, the, their CGA is, is great, but so complicated to watch. I never really liked Inuyasha. So um, to answer the question about superhero movies, I'm cool with superhero movies being done because right now everybody's just trying to copy Marvel for what they did the last 10 years. And they're not even hiding it. Like, everyone wants to start some kind of universe, some super trilogy, and it's all like, bro, stop. That's why what I'm hoping, I hope we take a pivot from superhero movies 
to just anime movies. I think what anime movies are going to do is get studios to understand not everything needs to be a live action movie. Just like, bro, if you draw it and it's good, just put that on the big screen. That's all you have to do. You don't have to live action it. You don't need to waste our time trying to find somebody who looks like the character but is a terrible actor. And then one guy who's a good actor but doesn't look like the character. Then you don't have to do a trash Netflix adaptation and piss off everybody around the, the globe. You don't have to do that. Just 2D it up and put it on the screen. No one's going to be angry. Black Clover is a, a, a C, C- anime at best. Honestly, anime kind of ain't been hitting recently just like any because all animes aren't aren't doing anything different like other than attack on titan and like attack on titan <laughs> honestly like the shonen genre is gonna have to do like either pull from seinen or seinen is gonna have to up their action to match shonen that's what's gonna have to happen right now because I'm, everybody's tired of the strong protagonist wants to be the head of something and he just wins because he shouts. Like, that shit is tired, bro. You have to do something different. Everybody on TikTok, click the link in the bio. Follow me on Twitch. Join the Discord. We have discussions like this all the time. Hey, thank you, The Die. Yeah, Ranking of Kings. Like, so Ranking of Kings is good because it's a fresh fucking story, bro. Like, the character is not sitting here trying... Like, okay, cool, he wants to be a good prince. That He's already royalty. It's not him trying to be a homeless person and the classism. It's just he's already royalty. I'm like, cool, bro. Cool. Um, Reincarnated as a slime. I guess I'm going to have to check it out. You're like, you guys are like the hundredth person to say it. Anime movies are just better, bro. Like, that's what I don't like. Uh, but yeah, the, the anime thing is like, I feel like back in the 90s, there was a better spread on anime. Like, in the 90s, you had Roni Kenshin, Dragon Ball Z, Tenshi Muyo, Inuyasha, Big O, um, Gundam. Then you had Yu Yu Hakusho. Then you had Ghost in the Shell, Evangelion, uh, d d different Gundams. Like, there was such a diverse spread of anime out at one time that if you got tired of one thing, there was something completely polarizing to watch that was just great. Like, Ronnie Kenshin, bro, isn't crazy action heavy, but the historical display and, like, the way they tell that thing is fantastic. It's a great switch up from hands in Dragon Ball Z, Ronnie Kenshin. Then Tenshi Muyo, he's just sitting there getting touched up all the time. Like, it, it's good. But right now, everything is literally just, I'm trying to outdo the other guy's action fight scene. Like, how, how many camera angles can we really do for fight scenes right now? Like, you can only choreograph so much for, for fight scenes. Like, it's okay, bro. I know y'all are fucking with romance anime, though. Everybody in my Discord is messing with romance anime, for sure. Samurai Shampoo is act Samurai Shampoo is goaded. Like, I will, I will actually... If someone insulted Samurai Shampoo, I would find your address and egg you in the face every morning. Golden Kamui, I haven't heard of this. Um, uh, I, I say we changed the admin name to Hateful Eight. <laughs> Hey, y'all, thanks for the, uh, the love on TikTok, Riders. Kenshin swinging that reverse blade. Bro, Rurouni Kenshin with the reverse blade? Bro, I used to be mad like, bro, Kenshin, just, just, just end these people. But for sure, he was putting people in wheelchairs, paws with that reverse blade. Like, you know how bad you got to feel for a man to thwack you so hard with the back of his blade that you wake up and say, I'm not doing nothing bad no more? Like, come on, bro. Yeah, Big O was hard. Like, y'all think Bruce Wayne is swaggy? Big O was that guy. Not gonna lie, I love these discussions, but it does ever go to a point where we're overanalyzing. Here's the thing. That's why with these discussions, I like to switch it up because, uh, Wispy, on thanks for the follow. Uh, overanalyzing happens when most of TikTok, only people, all people want to talk about on TikTok is One Piece, Black Clover, Naruto, and Saitama. You can only talk about that so much before you've ripped it apart to shreds. Talk about anything else, please. So, Kenshin live action is the best action. I have never seen Kenshin's live action. I refuse to waste my eyelids on that. Um, I still got to watch Samurai Shampoo. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Uh, I've seen even Gillian. Yeah, Gundam was hard going to bed. All right, Pops. Uh, I started high Gundam's tier started with G Fighter Gundam. Okay, Mobile Suit Gundam was fire. Uh, Tyler Emery, there's a man named Johnny Mnemonic. He loves Blood Orphans. I'm sorry, bro, but you may be doing workouts, pushing, 
But the only thing I have pushing is this fully loaded Glock. Please do, bro. DC or Marvel? Story time? Story time on what? Yeah, and that's the thing. It's all like people don't want to talk about nothing else because if you talk about other animes, it forces you to show your IQ. Like, it doesn't take too much IQ to argue Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, and One Piece all day. Because most of the people arguing that are just going to say, I'm right because I'm right. And then they're going to bring up uh, the, the sales volume. And it's all like, okay, bro. If I stop running and you keep running, obviously you're going to be farther than I am. So sales have nothing to do with this. Like, let's, let's cut the crap. Let's look at other anime objectively. Like... If you want, like, okay, that's why I like Code Geass. A lot of people on TikTok don't talk about Code Geass. Why? Because you have to think. You have to sit here, watch a show, understand a lot of plot points that are being uh, happening. You have to understand the, the, the switch-ups here, different things that play. The, the characters are more than fleshed out. They're actually so fleshed out that they're woven into the storyline. But that's the thing because people, it's not even because it's Gundam. I promise you people just don't like to have intellectual conversations because they don't know how to argue other than saying I'm right because I'm right. That's it. Like, bro, if you really want to see where somebody's head at, just ask them what anime do you like besides Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, and Black Clover. And JJK. It's a brain malfunction. They can't talk. But if you talk to people who actually know anime that are outside of the like the TikTok favorites, it's a it's a better conversation. It's way better. Autumn Janelle, Cold Geass is fantastic. Like Cold Cold Geass was a map. Like to me, Cold Geass was better than uh, Death Note. I like Cold Geass way better than Death Note, and Death Note was great. Baki before. Like, bro, Cole Geass, when I tell you, oh, everybody on TikTok, follow me on Twitch and join my Discord. But yeah, Cole Geass, bro, I thought Lelouch was such a better character to me because he was fighting for something the whole time. And don't get me wrong, Death Note, because Light is just a spoiled rich kid, that's a good switch up. Like, I'm not knocking them for that. I'm just saying that it was better to me as an audience member having someone who was that smart for a purpose. Uh, spoilers. How he had people who were smarter than him and he only learned how to outsmart them through personal growth that he suffered in the show. Like, in Death Note, I never felt like Light learned a lesson. He just kept getting cockier because he was all like, damn, I'm really that guy. Like, he kept realizing how smart he was and just kept going down, down the rabbit hole. Was the side character he was going. Oh, Suzuku? I hated that man. Oh, I hate Suzuku. Oh my god, I hate him. Oh my goodness, that's that's probably a whole nother stream talking about uh, Suzuku. So here's the thing, and I loved how this man, Lelouch's sister, is used as a plot device to represent his innocence. Because remember, the entire show, he never lies to her, or actually he just doesn't tell her like he's zero or hurt her feelings. Like Everything he does is to protect her innocence. Like He takes on this dark persona and evil burden in the world in order to make sure she retains her innocence because that's the only way he can have his innocence is through her and when he gets to the end of the show and does what he does oh my god i was all like the layers in this writing are genius bro genius like they literally say like at the end of the day even though his intentions are pure in his effort to retain his innocence he failed bro it was freaking 10 out of 10 bro I haven't seen Parasite, but I've heard good things about it. I haven't seen uh, Full Metal. Uh, Fairy Tale is garbage. Please stop the cap. Bro, I shouldn't have started talking about Cold Geass. I want to watch it again right now. Cold Geass is worthy of a rewatch at least 20 times a year. Esca Flow would be woo too much for these noobs. Parasite facts. Do we rank anime or manga with an asterisk if they have got, haven't got gotten an ending yet? So here's the thing. Uh, Attack on Titan, we're going to talk about what that is. that's a masterpiece. I've watched the ending 10 times over. One of the best. Yeah, bro. The ending of Cold Geass was so good. Like, don't get me wrong. I thought Death Note's ending... Hey, Love is Rich. Thanks for my fault. Death Note's ending was dope just because of the symbolism. Like, Light dying on the stairs, showing that he's, you know, trapped in between dimensions and purgatory. Fantastic. But Lelouch? Lelouch? His ending? Bro. Bro. It's like Attack on Titan... But without the whole, we're all superhumans from Emir. Like, the ending for Cold Geass actually made me sad. Like, I was morbidly depressed for about a week and a half. Uh, shout out to 
Shout out to Autumn Janelle. She is, she's got culture. I haven't seen Gurren Lagann, but I've heard good things about it. Bleach was better to read than to watch for me. See, the Bleach writing was fantastic. And here's the thing. That's what I was telling people. Bleach and Naruto, we only slander them because, you know, it's cool to slander things that came before you. That's just what people do. But Bleach and Naruto were good enough for a weekly run. Like, you could dissect Bleach chapters and just have, like, intellectual discourse with people every time. Like, Bleach and Naruto had the world on stuck. Like, I'm trying to tell people when... Ooh, Dragonite looking good. You can't judge a show on filler. Please, guys, stop it. Oh, my goodness. You have to stop this. You have to judge a show based on the source material. Please stop the cap. Fedora Tricks, thank you for the love. Um, Hurricane, hold on. Yes, sir. So here's the thing. Bleach and Naruto were drowning out One Piece. Like, yeah, One Piece was getting talked about, but they were getting over... One Piece was getting overshadowed by Bleach and Naruto every week, with, without a doubt. Dragonite got drip. Facts. Bleach and Naruto are amazing from a One Piece fan. Exactly. I didn't like... The only Bleach filler I liked was the one with the substitute captain. That one was kind of cool. I haven't seen Kenichi because they said it ends at a cliffhanger, and everyone says it's a good show, and I refuse. Uh, do I want to learn Hurricane? Uh... I don't really care for this move. I got Dragon Dance, Dragon Ted. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, Inuyasha on Adult Slim is definitely what got... Inuyasha used to terrify the hell out of me. Bleach has mad filler. Cowboy Bebop I don't care about. Thoughts on Nier. I don't know why people hate Nier. So, like, here's one thing I will be critical about. I understand people think, say that the show started, like, taking a dip once Nier and L, came, once, uh, L was out of the picture. Which I can kind of see because I'm like, all right, you know, that's that's not bad. You know what I'm saying? But in the same time, like, I liked Nier. Like, it was a good plot device to use him because if you really think how smart L was to where the top three detectives in the world are just all L with different personalities, the fact that he actually has um, his little brothers and stuff in waiting just prove his intellect. Like, to me, I thought L was smarter than Light the whole time. The only reason L was able to lose was because the light, uh, loot, blah, 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 blah. light has a Shinigami on his side. That was it. I love Assassination Classroom. I'm only on episode five, but I love that show. Assassination Classroom is a good example of switching things up. I want the DS filler so bad. Uh, not nah, Hurricane sucks. Well, the other move I have suck too. Those were some cool fights. I haven't seen Made in the Abyss. This is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Have you read Kaiju number eight? I feel like that's a different manga. No, I haven't. The second part was rushed, and we didn't get time to get used to it. The thing was, I felt like, ooh, Charizard looked good in this game. If they would have, like, stretched out the second part, I feel like Death Note would have just started ranking lower. Like, at that point, they needed to end the show, so I wasn't mad at it. Because if they would have, like, done any more, I would have been all like, yeah, I'm cool with this. Okay, Dragon Tail, I don't need that at all. Uh, what do you think about Fire Force? I haven't finished Fire Force. I've only seen the first episode. It's cool. I'm going to pick it back up because I think it's over. Bet you want a shiny, a shiny charge? Like, hell yeah, I do. I just like it more than light. Uh, Green L actually interacted with each other. Personally, while near, they only interacted in the end. Yeah, I'm going to go watch. I'll see you. All right, BioLegend, thanks for coming on. I haven't seen Odd Taxi. Um, Vampire Rosario, I haven't seen that. Uh, I haven't seen Death Note since it was on TV. Death Note is good, but once again, my money is on Code Geass. Like, oh my God, that show is a. I'm a. I'm an action fiend. Like, honestly, a, a action slut, if you will. I love action scenes. Code Geass was so good. I used to try and skip the action scenes to get back to the plot. I'm burnt out of anime. I've been watching since five or seven. See, when you're burnt out of anime like that, you have to switch up the, the genre. Like, right now, I'm trying to break into Seinen, and everybody told me to watch Monster. Monster's pretty good. I actually like Monster. It's a nice switch up from my normal main character has a demon or a superpower for some convenient reason plot device. Like, Monster is good. It's just good writing. I'm burnt out. Like, if you're burnt out of anime, you got to switch up the genres. But I for sure telling people watch Monster. I'm actually doing a watch through this week in my Discord. So I think uh, tomorrow's Thursday. So we'll watch another episode and another episode of Rising of a Shield Hero. 
Bro, is that show good? Because I don't want to watch it for certain. I didn't want to watch it either, but Monster is, yeah, Monster's fire, bro. The first episode, you're kind of just all like, okay, that's cool. Second episode, it's all like, boing, 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 boing. I'm like, oh. Switched all the way up. Hey, why are you streaming your stream, though? The thing is, I used to stream just showing my face on TikTok, but then I realized y'all wanted to see what I was playing, too, so. And then it makes people want to actually go to my Twitch and follow, so. I'm trying to be a good host. I heard Goblin Slayer is fire. Everybody keeps telling me about Goblin Slayer. I, I need to get on that. Switch up. Start watching. Oh my god, no. Monster got me hooked. Yeah, Monster's Heat. I've been watching a lot of feel-good animes lately. Just finished Kotaro Lives Alone. I feel like everybody... So, I don't watch any Slice of Life. Is is Kotaro Lives Alone Slice of Life or like a romance one? Because everybody in my Discord likes them. My thing with anime is all like, bro, with anime, you're either going to give me supernatural fighting or funny fighting or just something crazy with fighting because I can't get it from Western media. And if I want anything else, I'm just going to watch Western media. Slice of Life, I have Cartoon Network. That's always been my logic. Have you seen the Fate series? I just started, I watched half of the first episode because I didn't know that first episode was 48 minutes. Uh, the Fate series looks cool, you know. I need to probably finish that first episode, but I had just finished watching uh, Demon Slayer with the Gyu fight, uh, with the Gyu Taro fight, and then I went to that. I was not impressed. Look at this man, Garchomp. Everybody keeps saying Gintama's fire, too. The shiny Charizard are braiding for... Oh, um, Mr. Tickler, go into the Discord. I'll cop that from you later. Fate is exhausting. Fate is garbage. Damn, this is the first time I've heard that. Um, JoJo close. I don't think JoJo's close to anything. I'm not watching Ghost Stories again. That thing is going to get my account permabanned. What fate did you start? I think I started with zero or... I forgot. I forgot. It was fate something. Whichever one's on Hulu. Fate drags on too long. It's not Slice of Life. Not sure what it is exactly. Autumn Janelle, uh, let us know in my Discord. Link in the bio. I actually like the fate series. Uh, I mean, I'm going to give it another shot. It for sure was taking its sweet time to start, though. Like, I was like, okay, I, I like where this is going, but we, we probably could have did uh, a couple different episodes here, buddies. Uh, yeah, I don't want Sandstorm. What fate did you start with? It's about a kid that moves into an apartment alone. The residents help take care of him. Okay, I, I think that's slice of life. All fair is the same. What is all fate is true? Y'all are the first people I've ever heard fate slander. He came from a bad background, kind of. Oh, okay, so it's probably not slice of life. That sounds good. Uh, drifters, bro, ghost stories, oh yeah. Okay, y'all, I need to go to sleep. I got off work, came straight here, ate a whole bunch of pie I shouldn't have. I'm feeling the repercussions. Press one in the chat if you enjoyed this stream. Everybody press one in the chat. Also, yes, Trigun is goaded. I am streaming tomorrow again. I am starting the stream consistently at least four days out of the week. Um, follow me on Twitch, follow me on, uh, join my Discord. We do discussions like this and a bunch of other stuff. We do game nights. We do VCs, we do movie nights. Uh, sometimes I play along on stream with people. Uh, pause. Uh, <laughs> we are, we're on Twitch. Like the Discord link is in my bio. Literally, go to my profile, click that link, and they'll say press this button for my Discord server. It's right there. You don't have to do too much. Same with the Twitch thing. You click the link in the bio, click Twitch, hit follow, all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm trying to switch up the convos and culture here on TikTok because. Oh, once again, y'all are the best audience ever because I'm really just tired of having the same old One Piece, Naruto, DBZ arguments in Black Clover. Like, it's okay, guys, to like and talk about other anime. Nobody's going to hate you for it. It's okay, guys. Like, you're, you're going to be fine. There's other anime out there. And there's other anime not from this generation of million-dollar budgets. You're going to be okay. All right? So with that, I bid everyone adieu. See ya. And uh, yes, you can change your name in the Discord. Yes, you can, because Urethra Tickler is hilarious. All right, y'all.